I'm in Los Angeles. Beautiful, isn't it? No, I'm actually not in Los Angeles right now, but I was. I'll explain more later. <laughs> So as soon as I touched down in LA, I was walking around town and I kind of realized how much I hated it. Like, it's not really like the pictures anymore, you know? If you look up a picture of Hollywood Boulevard, it'll be like all nice and clean. But if you actually go there, there'll be like people burning their clothes on the street. I saw a dude wearing a full button down suit with a backpack on. Think about that for a second. You know how insane it is to wear a backpack with a full button down suit? It's very unnatural. There's graffiti everywhere. And graffiti is cool, I think. It just never really says anything important or like intelligible at all. Since I didn't have all my clothes readily available to me, I didn't really have a costume for Halloween. So I put a fleece jacket on and told people that I was a guy who just moved to LA to try to be a DJ. It was the best I could come up with. But I was waiting for my friend to get ready in her costume. She was trying to be the weekend. And she usually takes like two hours. So I knew I had some time to kill. So me and my other friend grabbed her dog, this little white like crust bucket and we decided to go trick-or-treating now i think usually it would be weird if a bunch of 20 something year olds came up to somebody's house and asked them for candy even if it was on halloween but luckily the dog was our in people love dogs especially white women so we go up to a house we knock on the door and we'd be like trick-or-treat and they open the door and they'd be like you guys pedophiles what are you doing here and then they see that we had a dog and they'd be like oh That was a non-exaggerated reaction. We were having so much luck that we decided to start telling them that we were a gay couple and we just had a baby and we bought him a dog costume. So we were bringing him out for his first Halloween. Finally, the weekend was ready. So we went out to a parade in West Hollywood. <laughs> trying to go to this one like club thing that we've been to a couple times before and the line was like an hour long so we were like standing outside in a circle deciding what to do and inside the club they start playing that song that goes like if you ain't got no money take your broke behind home so we went home la has such a high threshold of income for it to be like comfortable when you live there and unfortunately right now i'm not in that income bracket so that's why i came back home it wouldn't really make any sense for me to stay in la if it was just gonna be super expensive to live there and i didn't have a car so i decided to come here work a bunch get money before i go to alaska again do a full season there get a bunch more money so right now i'm just pre-gaming the work by doing work when i was in la i rounded up a bunch of my clothes and i decided to give half of them away so me and my friend brought two full trash bags of my clothes to a thrift store where they buy the clothes from you and they took like 30 minutes to look through everything and then they decided to buy one shirt for five dollars i guess i'm not as drippy as i thought i was i like my cheese drippy bro i condensed all my belongings into like these two home depot boxes and i didn't have a scale where i was staying so i was praying that they were below 70 pounds and i brought them to the airport to come home from la and one of them was 68 pounds and the second was 75 pounds so the lady was like nah we can't take this it's got to be 70. So i was like can i like take some stuff out of it and she was like sure and i was like do you have anything i can open the box with she was like no because i taped the box so much because it was so heavy so it looked like like a giant 70 pound brick of cocaine and obviously i didn't bring like a knife to the airport so the only thing i had that was sharp was pens so i got my ballpoint pens and i started stabbing the box i'm like in an airport at 3 a.m stabbing a box repeatedly trying to break the tape i look like an insane person and i finally after breaking like three pens i finally like get enough where i can rip it open and i'm like searching for the heaviest object because i need to get on the plane the only thing i can think of is my tripod so i grabbed my tripod and i picked it up and i looked at it longingly and i gave it one last goodbye kiss then I threw it away in the trash can. And then I had to speed tape my box again and I gave it back to her and it was 69.5 pounds. So thank you, tripod. Anyway, you're welcome for making another YouTube video. Uh, I accept Venmo, Apple Cash. You can send me a check if you want. Whatever works for you. Have a great day.